You know, I'm turning 30 tomorrow. Did you know that? Well, happy birthday. You know, I was just thinking you don't look a day over 25. Liar. I don't know. I've just been feeling very stuck lately. Uh, you know, I cannot remember the last time I was surprised by anything. Can you? The last time I was surprised was by you. Well, you know what I mean. I mean, I'm just surprised that we're able to stay good friends. I've been thinking about moving. Maybe Phoenix. I've got an old college friend that lives down there, and she says it's nice. I think the change would do me good. What do you think? Yeah, I think you'll love it down there, because they're square dancing and ten-gallon hats and armadillo hunting. And macho yokels with names like Tex. 
So tell me. What do you think? You think I should go or not? Well, you know, Arizona may seem like a much more exciting place than San Francisco, but it's dangerous down there. At least around here, you got your friends checking out for you. It's dangerous everywhere. I mean, especially here. I mean, did you hear about that co-ed? Someone murdered her in her own bedroom. I didn't hear about that. The papers said it might be a serial killer. They gave him some kind of crazy name. I don't know. I, I can't remember what they called him. Doesn't that stuff scare you? I mean, I'm a tough guy, and it scares me. I appreciate your concern, Tex. But I have been fine on my own for a long time. Looks like the rain's letting up. <sighs> I'm going home. Got a big date? Oh, yeah. Cary Grant and a pint of haagen Hold me down. See you later. What a schmuck. What? Chelsea was giving you opportunities all evening and you blew every one of them. The same P.I. you are. Well, you wouldn't know a clue if it walked up and punched you in the face. Listen, all I know is, every time I try and ask her out, she turns me down. It's from the distinguished gentleman in the corner. Bought you a bourbon. Oh, good evening, good evening. Gordon Fitzpatrick is my name. Please sit down, sir. You know, I am not in the habit of eavesdropping, but I do believe I heard someone say that you were a private detective. That's right. I'm a licensed private investigator. Oh, delightful. It's a pleasure indeed to meet you. And your name? Murphy. Tex Murphy. Tex Murphy. Well... Well, 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 this is fine. Now, listen, let me ask you this, Mr. Tex Murphy. Have you in your work ever had the occasion to seek for a missing person? Sure. I can do that. Well, then perhaps we could do some business. I think we can work something out. My office is just around the corner, the Ritz Hotel. Why don't we go there? I like your office. Oh, yes, the ambiance is very authentic. Reminds me of those, uh, you know, those old detective stories that I used to watch when I was a kid. I'm sure that at any moment, Sam Spade is going to come marching through that door, but then who needs Sam Spade when I've got Tex Murphy standing in front of me? Did you always want to be a private eye? As far back as I can remember. Mm -hmm. Would you have a seat, Mr. Thank you, Pat. Yeah, while all the other kids were logged on to Sesame Street Interactive, I was reading Hammett and Chandler. It must be quite an exciting life. Oh, it's got its moments. Don't get me wrong, it's not like the movies. It sure as hell doesn't pay very well. But it suits me. So what can I do for you, Mr. Fitzpatrick? Well, I'm trying to find... An old acquaintance of mine, Thomas Malloy, Dr. Thomas Malloy. The last official address for him that I have is the Ritz Hotel. Now, do you happen to know him? I can't say that I do. That's very important that I find him. 
You know, let me give you a little background. For many years, I was a research scientist, and I worked alongside Dr. Malloy. But about 20 years ago, maybe, I guess something like that, our paths diverged, and I lost touch with him, and he with me. And then very recently, I saw a photograph of him in a local newspaper. Now, it's a strange thing how time is such a natural equalizer, makes us appreciate the faces from one's past. At any rate, the older gentleman in that photograph is Dr. Malloy. And I contacted the newspaper to find out where the photograph had been taken. It was at the San Francisco Technical University. Well, I hiked right out there, got to the campus, and decided to look the man up and surprise him. Even with that photograph, no one recognized him. No one knew his name. But then I received a strange phone call from a young woman named Sandra. The man I knew as Thomas Malloy, she knew as Tyson Matthews. She seemed quite uncomfortable talking on the vid phone, so I suggested we meet. She never showed up for that appointment. You never heard from her again? You know, it's strange. But this simple, whimsical wish of mine to get together with my old friend has materialized into, I don't know, I feel a sense of impending doom. I fear for the young woman, and I fear for my friend, Dr. Malloy. It sounds interesting. I think I can look into this for you. Thank you. Now, you'll have to refresh my memory. How much... How much is your fee? How does it work? I charge $500 a day. Of course. Plus expenses. Naturally. There, that should be enough to get you started. And here, here somewhere, there you go. I could be reached at that number. I'll be in touch. I feel we're off to a good start. All right, Mr. Fitzpatrick. This is the first cash I've had in months. Four grand. I owe Louie 200 bucks, and Rook says I owe him 300. But there should be plenty left over. Yes, sir. Things are definitely looking up.